Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. I'm KRooks1 and this is Area 5. We had just gotten power bomb data and gone through one of the most annoying challenges, I guess would be the best way to describe it of the game. Next one. And but you need a power bomb for this area. And it reveals a missile tank. One of these things these big things right here, it's made up of two X. Huh. This was only a bomb tank. Odd. I very distinctly remember that being a power bomb tank. A power bomb block. Strange. Whatever. Missile tank you get from it. Moving on. On and upward. Onward and upward. Sorry. Uh, you get you get my metaphors correct. Alright then. I don't feel I won't do that. Don't need a save. That's what save states are for. And here we go. Fast forward to the annoying computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to return to our ship because of an emergency. And we go up the and up the elevator. As we go up the elevator, it stops. We have control Samus now, and we have to go this way. Come on. There we go. If you're wondering what hap what just happened, um, the power went out. You can't hurt these things with regular beam. You have to use a charge beam. No one I'm serious about the the power just went out. But first off, we see something very strange. If does anyone recognize the shape? Well, you should. And the and the next one just bl flew away. Anyway, hop down here <coughs> to this place. All uh, right. You need a you need to use speed boost in this area, but it's really annoying with these things. So let's see here. If I remember correctly, how much space do I need? Not much more than that. So power bomb their asses. Takes two to do it, but it makes it about twenty times easier. So take a good long run. There we go, and another power bomb. Simply because I can. And there's also a missile tank right there. I forget, wasn't there something else around here? I don't remember, but whatever. So that's that's the way you get back to your ship. And going this way. Ship takes us up. Why not? And the shit, and it tells us the main reactor silo went offline, so no doors, no, no, so no doors, no save rooms, no navigation rooms, no re recharge stations, none of them work, so we have to fix it, and we have to go to the root of the problem, which is somewhere over here, and we start seeing these things. You don't want to know what that thing is? You remember those worm things we fought in area two? Remember I told you you'd meet them again? Here they are, adult form. And extremely annoying. So you see, this is the exoskeleton. They shattered it and became bigger. They're extremely annoying now and powerful. Uh, I hate them so much. <sighs> this is the reactor core. Lovely, ain't it? But it's all covered in roots. Oh shoot! That ground air is matured by a bunch of those things. That's really annoying. So I don't even. So it really doesn't even make sense to do anything here. Can't do anything here yet. So you just gotta go up. Come on. What? 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 Come on. Wow, I'm not doing good. Here we go. Up. 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 Sorry. That's what I say to my dog whenever I want her to jump. Now we see walking space pirates. They're a lot stronger than the ones we met before. And they do not freeze, so you can just blow them up with your missile, which is, which is what I recommend. Energy tank, which is nice, but that all, that usually signals a boss fight pretty soon, but not quite, not incredibly soon. So yeah, that's pretty much you do it. Just go down by level, destroying space pirates as you go. Yeah, they have several attack, attack layers. I can't get that missile tank yet. You need to wait a little bit, and, these, and you are really starting to annoy me. Can you get it in then? I thought you can't. 
Huh. Guess you can. Thought you had to go like up. Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, probably get to the right before the boss fight. Okay. And watch out they jump. As you can probably tell. Go on here. Blow through here. Do I have enough time to do the boss? Maybe. We shall see, we shall see. It's not that long of a boss, I don't think, but who knows? Come on. Wow. Another big eye, you know what to do. Don't attack him when it's eye like is like that. Attack it right now, blow it up, get a red X. And here comes the next boss. Follow all the way down here. Watch out, it begins with flames. And here we meet Spider Boss. Annoying boss, when it's doing this, go go in a corner more in the corner, cause it will try and move like that and try and pick you. Damn it! Now what I wanted to do. It will try and pick you up at its mandibles and smash you, kinda like Ridley does in uh in in uh, in, uh Metro in Super Metroid. Uh, move really quickly to get out of it. And then you can only hurt it when its mouth is open, kinda like that previous boss. And that's pretty much the first phase. Damn it! This boss is hard. I have to, I'll, I'll admit that. You can do a, you can get a, usually get a bunch of missiles off off of the first on the first shot though. Wow, I am doing horrible. Shit. Dang, it usually doesn't do it this many times. Usually it only does it like once or twice. What? Come on, open your damn mouth. Which turn different shades as you do, as you be, stop beating it. It has a lot of health, so don't expect to beat it right away. There we go. And now once you, you blow its head off, it's just its head. Um, You have to shoot its head when it's not spinning. The way I recommend this is to stand in the corner and shoot at it. Your missiles can sh disrupt its shots. Come on. Come on, I got enough missiles. I'm just gonna blow. I'm just gonna blow you. I'm just gonna go full out arsenal. Full out arsenal on you, ass. Get over here. Get your ass over here. I'm gonna blow your fucking face off. Yeah, this part. This boss has a lot of health, but I've got so many missiles, I can just waste them like nothing else. So yeah, if you want to use that strategy, you can too, or you can be patient and try and be a real gamer. I wasn't back there because I was losing my patience. And more of this fucking stuff. Wow, I am playing terribly right now. You really shouldn't be taking this many hits from, from these core axes. They're not that hard to dodge, but I am playing like shit right now. And get over here, and I blast the core off of you. We get the next upgrade. Space Jump, so we can somersault continuously in the air. This upgrade is annoying to use if you don't know how to. You have to continually jump at the right time while pressing over and by pressing o one of the directional buttons. Kind of annoying. This is the auxiliary power station. This lets you use save states, navigate, sta save station, navigation room, and recharge stations. Helpful, but not what we came to here, here to do. Still don't have any doors. So we need to. So it says the. The reason is because that vegetation we saw choking the reactor, and we need to get rid of it, which you can't do right now. Um, there's a safe station right here. I recommend using it because of these things. I hate these things so much. Ah, they do so much damage. They take a lot of de they they take a lot of hits. Be very careful with them. Shit. And they fly, and some of them fly too. They can blow them up with a couple of missiles. So yeah, next way to get to the next area is you have to space jump. Get a hack away from me. So yeah, see this area? You have to space jump while blasting. Go over here. You can either be you can either do it with one with a bunch of little bombs or one big power bomb. We go to the tropical area. Now you hear those footsteps? You should know them by right now. It's the SAX. And you can't dodge this one, you just have to freeze it. So get your missiles ready and hop down. Shit! Move! And power bomb and. Use a power bomb and run. 
Now there's a bunch of these little gates right here. Just shoot and run, shoot and run, and then keep on moving. Keep on moving. Now come over here and go on the other side. It will come in, see, not see you, and leave. Complete. Not sure why it does that, but it does it. So that's that no scale. I think that's a good time to place it in this video. So um, uh, see you next time on Let's Play Metroid Fusion. I am K161. Goodbye.